Welcome to Deep Thought. Don't be in denial of what's right in front of you. I'm gonna tell you what, people as they go through life are so, well their vision is so clouded by their false belief systems. It could be about different races, different groups, different situations, different genders. For example, okay, I'm known for talking about relationships and that's a big deal. You have whole groups of women who will say, well, all men are this and they're bad, they're players and stuff, yet they can encounter men who are good men who are trying to be monogamous. You know, they gainfully employed, they got all the positive things that they say don't exist and it's right in front of them, but they will still deny it. And you get men who do the same thing. They'll say, oh, these modern women, and yeah, they all have been ran through and all of that, all right? But they will encounter several women who are good women who, you know, it, they could actually be virgins or very responsible with their relationships. But they will ignore that because their belief system says, this is, what's, uh, this is what women act like. And the women saying, this is what men act like. And we can extend this to so many things. People have prejudices against different races, different religious groups, different political groups. And they want to believe that, but then when you give them ample evidence, that's not the case. They still have problems with it. In fact, if somehow they accept the truth that's presented to them, it can actually hurt them. I've said before, shattering someone's belief system is a weapon of mass destruction. Truth, one truth can tumble a whole block of a house of cards that's a block wide. Literally, one truth, a house of lies. But here's the thing, you can face that and you can deal with that by always facing truth. One of the things, like I said, we all have some false beliefs like all of us, anybody trying to say they never did, they're in trouble. One of the ways I would fight false beliefs is to face truth no matter what. No matter what, no matter how much it might go against my belief system, I face it. I was like, no matter what it is, you know? Because my thing is at least be open for another point of view at least be open to what's right in front of you. In the legal field, they would call it prima facie evidence. It's right on his face. You're looking right at it. You're looking right at it. You cannot dispute it. It's right in front of you, you know? I remember I learned that lesson before learning the term prima facie, any other legal term. I learned that lesson back when I was in the fifth grade. It started at this, uh, like this school in Northeast DC and had this one kid, uh, he, I remember, he was talking with him, he said, I can beat up everybody in the class. And I believed him, I didn't know any better, you know, all right? And I remember he got in a fight with this other kid and this other kid was whipping his ass and I actually said, I said, oh, he, he, he can't beat him, he can beat everybody in the class. And several people were like, <laughs> See, you learn that. You, you, you learn that. I'm going to get into, like, pay attention to a person's actions more than their words in the, ne in the next Deep Thought video. But this is what's happening right in front of you, you know? And a lot of people, a lot of people go through that because they want to believe something. They want to believe they need to do something. They want to believe. Like, let me use a relationship example because you got a whole network of websites, a whole community who believe you, you know, you have to be like to of guys who believe to get a woman. You got to be six two, square jawed, white <laughs> to get a woman. Seriously, that's how deep it is. And I'm like, OK, but you go to all these other countries, guys who look nothing like that are in happy relationships, creating families, you know, with attractive women, you know. So how is that the case? Even in places where there are some six foot two, you know, square jaw white guys, there's still some other guys in that environment getting women. So that's right there. What do you see? 
like I always say uh, on my men's channel, it's like, how do you think, you know, like you get some guys talk about height and they'll have that belief. Like, oh yeah, it's over if you're over under six feet. But if you go out in public, you go any place where there's a crowd, there's plenty of men walking around with at least a decent looking woman, some with a very attractive woman, and they well under six feet. It's right there in front of you. But you will still get some people who will fight against it. You can't be in denial of what's there, what's happening. Because then when you see the truth, one, first, as they say, the truth will set you free. It will set you free from that false belief. It can open you up. Now, one of the things I would always say is face truth no matter what, no matter how much it hurt. That's always been my philosophy. You know, always been my philosophy. You know, because even no matter what I talk about, I'll, I will actually look for anything that contradicts what I talk about. I look for it. And then when I find something, I'll adjust what I was thinking. I will adjust it. You know something? That even when I talk about body gain, okay, that's an example on my men's channel. Now, I've said have your best body because women still liking the body because what the truth I found, women just like different bodies. So that's why I say find your different body. You know, find the body that's good for you and then I talk about a tribe. Find the women who like that body. That's truth. That's truth. When I talk about body game, you notice I never say you have to have a specific body. Even when I say, you know, muscles, yeah, they work well, but some women don't like muscles. But that's the truth. The truth, the truth is women simply like different things. Different women like different things, have different preferences. All a man has to do is find with that, uh, you know, who, who prefers him. But that's the truth. That's seeing what's right there. That's saying, oh, you have to look like this. And that's with everything. That's with everything. What's the truth of the situation? You know? Like you have some people feel like, well, all people of this race, all people of this religion, all people of this gender are bad. Is that the truth? Or is it that some of the people you encountered with that way, but then some of the same people in that race, that gender, that religion, was something else? But see, sometimes, sometimes people get so caught up into their false belief that they, when they present it with the truth, they'll deny it. They'll deny it because they want to hold on to their false belief. But you can't deny it. Just accept what you see right in front of you. Accept it. And then once you do that, you're not stuck. You're open. I want y'all to really think about that, okay? I want y'all to really deal with that. All right? So, anyway, that's all I, I have for today. Really think about that, all right? And I'll get back with y'all later. Peace and blessings. <laughs>